5. Сейчас еще будет. Ускоряемся намного больше, потому что 5,7, потому что уже совсем не Driving past the ruins of reactor 4, the radiation levels still set off danger warnings three decades after the explosion. Around 7,000 workers are decommissioning the site, the huge number needed to limit individual radiation exposure. If you comply with the rules of radiation safety, it is absolutely safe. The dose of radiation one gets here is a little higher than in Kiev, for instance. During a shutdown test in the early hours of April 26, 1986, a steam explosion blew the roof off Reactor 4. Blocks of superheated graphite rained down on the site and huge amounts of radioactive particles were released into the air. Then, as now, the firefighters and so-called liquidators who first tackled the blaze are lauded as heroes. At least 28 died from acute radiation sickness. A religious ceremony was held this week to honor them. We are still losing many people because of it. It is a great pain, a massive wound for our country and our nation. The 30th anniversary is significant because the so-called sarcophagus of concrete that was hastily built over the reactor has a three-decade lifespan. Now that the existing casing on top of the reactor has reached the end of its life, this giant arch is designed to replace it. It has taken six years and around two billion dollars to build. Sometime next year, the whole structure will be moved on rails over the reactor. It will not only serve as a shield from radiation, but will also allow dismantling of the old radioactive structures, first of all, the old concrete sarcophagus. As a result of these works, in 100 years there is to be a green lawn here. But the area will not be habitable for tens of thousands of years. Some say the 2,600 square kilometer exclusion zone is an underused resource. Environmental consultant Roman Zinchenko wants the area turned into a vast green energy site. This is the site where both we humans and nature heals the wounds. And the revival of this, this place can be a very important lesson for not just Ukraine, but all the humanity. Tourists have been allowed to visit Chernobyl since 2011. A popular site is the so-called Russian Woodpecker, a vast radar system designed to protect then-Soviet-controlled Kiev from attack. The Chernobyl exclusion zone hides not only eerily abandoned towns and villages, it also provides a fascinating snapshot of Cold War tensions frozen in time in 1986. The world has changed much in the intervening three decades. Some argue it is time to seek a new future for Chernobyl itself. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, Chernobyl, Ukraine.